Hello guys, welcome back to Guardia Gist and in today's video I'm going to be sharing my experience using the Xiaomi Redmi Note 8. Now, as some of you guys know, about a month ago I shared with you guys my unboxing video of the Xiaomi Redmi Note 8 and since then I've been using this smartphone. So in today's video I'm going to be sharing my thoughts with it. But before we start with the review, make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications. The back of the Xiaomi Redmi Note 8 is made from glass and as you all know, glass are breakable but not on the Xiaomi Redmi Note 8 because the back of this smartphone is protected by Corning Gorilla Glass 5 so it won't break easily as that and i love the neptune blue color that i chose but there's other color options that you can choose from such as space black moonlight white and cosmic purple one of the things that i hate about the xiaomi red minute 8 is that the back camera protrudes from the back i mean it has a camera bump but if you put case on this smartphone it solves that problem but I advise you to use case on this phone if you want to get the Xiaomi Redmi Note 8. But if you are cool with the camera bump, there's no two ways about it. You can start using it like that. It's not bad. Another thing is the fingerprint sensor. The fingerprint sensor of this smartphone felt really flushed. And that makes it very difficult for you to locate the fingerprint sensor when you are using the phone. But then again, with the case on, it solved that problem. Like I told you guys earlier, the back of the Xiaomi Redmi Note 8 is made from glass. And that makes it to attract a lot of fingerprint stains. But a single wipe with a towel close all that. And another thing is that the Redmi Note 8 is a little bit heavy. I mean, it weighs around 190 grams. And that can be a deal breaker for some. At the top of this smartphone, there is an IRA raster which allows you to control some of your appliances such as... Uh, TV, decoder, AC, and all that. The front of the smartphone houses a 6.3 inches Full HD Plus display with a resolution of 2340 by 1080p. And that display is protected by Corning Gorilla Glass 5. Viewing angles on this phone is really great, and I also love the fact that you can stream alternative videos on YouTube. Videos look really sharp with punchy colors, and the 409 ppi density also helps. I really have nothing against the display. The display is very, very good. In terms of performance, this smartphone is one of the best smartphones that I've ever used. To be completely honest, I haven't experienced any sort of lags with this smartphone. It is powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon C60 chipset, which has an octa-core processor clocked at 2.0 GHz. Gaming on this smartphone is really nice. I played a light killer game on this smartphone and there was no single lag. But unfortunately, I couldn't get the PUBG Mobile or Asphalt 9 on this smartphone because I don't have enough data to download both those games. But, you know, if you want a separate gaming review of the Xiaomi Redmi Note 8, I will definitely buy data and download these two games for you guys. Just let me know in the comment section below if you want me to do a gaming review of the Xiaomi Redmi Note 8. When I got the Xiaomi Redmi Note 8, this smartphone is actually running on MIUI 10, but I later upgraded it to MIUI 11. In fact, MIUI 11 is already waiting for me when I got this smartphone, so I just, you know, upgraded it immediately. If you don't know, the GPU on this guy is an Adreno system GPU, and the unit I have here is a 4GB RAM and 64GB RAM version. The smartphone has a quad camera setup at the back, which includes an 8 megapixel ultra wide lens, 48 megapixel main sensor, 2 megapixel depth sensor, and a 2 megapixel micro lens. On the front, there is a 13 megapixel selfie shooter. And how does the camera perform? Mm, for 64,000 Naira smartphone or a $180 smartphone, I think the picture that really comes out of this thing really worth it. I mean, I'm quite satisfied with the pictures that I shoot with this device. You know, okay, I can't just judge. In short, let me show you guys the pictures that was taken with this smartphone and it's up to you to know if it is okay with you or not. Let me just pass the pictures across your screen right now. Just tell me what you think in the comment section below.
so guys i hope you have seen the pictures that i just passed across your screen right now the pictures are taken with the xiaomi redmi note 8 what do you think about the pictures is it okay or bad but for me i think for a 64,000 naira smartphone equivalent to 180 dollars i think the smartphone uh, the pictures taken with the smartphone is really really great but in terms of portrait shot with this one is they are not just good you know they are not perfect but it is good all right and in terms of battery performance this device lasts for a full day on a maximum usage it takes off eight percent when i was surfing internet per hour and it takes off 12 percent when i was watching videos online or on youtube per hour so i think the battery performance on these guys is really really great nice one xiaomi it's a 4000 mAh battery smartphone and it supports 18 watts fast charger but when i got the phone it actually came with 10 watts charger in the box but it supports 18 watts fast charging and the 10 watts charger actually took this device from 0 to 100 percent in just two hours i mean that's okay that's okay it took it took the smartphone from 0 to 100 uh, percent in just two hours if a 10 watts charger took this guy from 0 to 100 percent in just two hours imagine if i buy a 10 watts charger for it <laughs> All in all, the battery life on this guy is really, really great. For security, you get a fingerprint sensor which is mounted at the back and face unlock. I tested the fingerprint sensor and it worked. It took about a second to unlock. And the face unlock though is really, really great. But uh, smartphone brands has been warning that you know the face unlock feature is not trustworthy. That if a guy or a person who resembles you might unlock the phone so it is not trustworthy to use face unlock on the Xiaomi Redmi Note 8 not particularly Xiaomi Redmi Note 8 but other smartphones that use face unlock but you know during my test with the face unlock feature I just snapped myself uh, I took a selfie with another smartphone and just place it I pointed it I pointed it to the Xiaomi Redmi Note 8 and it didn't even unlock it I even did a video and you know pointed it at the Xiaomi Redmi Note 8 to see if it will unlock and it didn't even unlock so I think the the first unlock on the Xiaomi Redmi Note 8 is really really solid guys so what are the pros and cons of the Xiaomi Redmi Note 8 well I will start with the cons first one it's a freaking fingerprint magnet. I mean, this device attracts a lot of fingerprint stains, but with the case on it, it solved the problem, but it's still a con to have. Another one is the camera bump. I mean, the camera protrudes from the back, which makes it to wobble on a flat surface. I don't like it. And that's pretty much about the cons. When it comes to Pro, there is a lot to like about the Xiaomi Redmi Note 8. You get a great camera, great battery performance, great performance and all that i mean the xiaomi redmi note 8 is a very good smartphone and i recommend it for 60,000 naira i recommend the xiaomi redmi note 8 is a very good device to get i was not paid to do this video but you know from my own honest opinion i think the xiaomi redmi note 8 worth buying i mean is worth buying <laughs> Guys, I apologize for the, you know, the poor video quality on this thing. You know, look at, look around. I mean, I sincerely apologize for this poor video quality. But my aim is just to deliver what I experienced using this phone. And I think you have grasped something, one or two things out of this video. But, you know, I know that the, you know, the video quality is very, very bad. And sorry guys i apologize for this poor video for it i actually started cho uh, shooting uh, from 5 pm and it is about 6 21 i mean 21 minutes after 6 now and that's why everywhere, everywhere just got dark so i'm really sorry about the video quality i'll try to you know start shooting early next time you know but all in all i hope you like the video right give me a huge thumbs up just give me a thumbs up and Comment if you have any question about the Xiaomi Redmi Note 8. Leave them in the comment section below and I will attend to it. Subscribe to my channel if you are new.
and i'll talk to you in my next video